I love updating cedar chests, and I think this one is my favorite yet. All right, first things first, we removed the lock from the cedar chest. Then my husband cleaned it with crud cutter to remove any grease, oils, or grime from the surface. Then I filled in a few small dings on the top of the cedar chest and let it dry. The top had quite a few scratches in it, so my husband sanded it down to bare wood once the wood filler was dry. Then he scuff sanded the rest of the cedar chest and then cleaned up all of the dust and we moved the cedar chest into our paint booth. And he taped the edges off for me so then I didn't get any paint inside of the cedar chest. Then I rolled on two coats of white tinted Bin Shellac base primer and let it dry overnight. It's the best primer for painting furniture a lighter color. It blocks stains from coming through the paint and it helps the paint stick really well. Then Taylor sanded the primer by hand with fine grit sandpaper and a sanding sponge to smooth out any texture that was left by the roller. While Taylor was working on cleaning up the dust again, I was working on the fun part. I used these redesigned decor molds and casting resin to create flowers and leaves to decorate the cedar chest. I mixed the two equal parts of resin together and poured it into a mold slowly. Within 15 minutes, a batch of flowers and stems were done and I popped them out to make more. Then I laid them out how I thought that I might want them to go and I used my favorite instant super glue to glue everything in place. After they were all glued in place, I brushed and rolled on this gorgeous light gray color called Seagull Gray from General Finishes. After the second coat was dry, I saw in better light that there was some glue that made some bad texture in between the flowers, and I still didn't have full coverage on all of the paint. So I sanded off the texture and painted two more coats to get full coverage. We finished up by spraying some water-based polyurethane on to protect the paint. And here's what it looks like now. Okay, I absolutely love this makeover. I was so nervous about the placement of the flowers, but I think it looks so good. I love the light gray to lighten it up and it just looks so cute now. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons to see more of our videos. Want to turn your hobby into cash? Click the link in my comments to download the free pricing guide that we use to buy and sell furniture.